I started? I, I felt like the tone that was said was like you were preparing to. I wasn't preparing to say anything. I thought you were. Okay, I just got that vibe. I, I thought guess. you were playing like the. I don't have anything. The prepared. straight man, like I, the quiet guy, and I am straight. No, I know, but well, I am too. It does by you playing the straight man does not mean that. Yeah, one of us is not exactly. It's just there could be two straight men in a comedy duo. Yeah, I, I mean, it wouldn't make for a good comedic duo. Mm, that's right. two straight men. I think two gay men would be the funniest. Yes. But, uh, hey guys, welcome to Super Mega Cast, episode 304. That's, uh, quite a big number. That's a mouthful. 304. You know what Imagine sucks? if you had to eat that many M&Ms. I'd you puke. Get a, you'd get a stomach ache. I would puke. See, that's how you know we've been doing this for a while. The number of podcast episodes, if, if eating that many M&Ms would make you sick to your stomach, that's how you know you're like an OG podcast at that point. How many M&Ms could you eat before you got sick? You are going to say something. Well, I'd like to hear this answer first. How many M&Ms could I eat? Before you would, like, realistically get sick. How many are in a pack? What's the serving size of M&Ms? I'm going to guess there are, like, 30 in a pack. I could probably eat 100 M&Ms. No, maybe that might actually be a small amount of M&Ms. I, I feel like I could eat probably over 200 M&Ms. There's nights where I used to go crazy with some donuts or some cookies, like nice 13 cookie tote from McDonald's. I've done the same. I, I, you know what? I have done the 13 cookie tote thing, but it was like, uh, it was when I woke up in like a fugue state and ah. just ate it. But God damn, it was good. And I woke up in the morning. And I was like, did I eat all those cookies? Let me see. Uh, how many M&Ms are in a pack? Okay. I, I said around 30. 56 candies. Damn. So... Ooh, I could have probably like. I think I think three three think, bags of M and M's would probably get me sick. I think four to five, and then I'd be like just wait, just fuck. M and M's are so rich, you know. It's like the it's they're so sweet. It's that candy shell. Peanut M and M's are amazing. Oh, I could eat about a million and a half of those. You get two treats in one. I know. Well, what I was what I was gonna say was, I meant to point this out on the last episode three hundred three, mm. that it was episode three hundred three, and uh. Your favorite band. I could have made a good, yeah, a good funny joke about the band. Um, 303. Don't trust a hoe. Never trust, trust a hoe. hoe. Don't trust a hoe. Don't trust me. She bought them, found them, bought them, found them. You know, that one? Some of you guys might be too young to remember that smash hit. Oh, that's when I was in high school? I was in middle school. Or maybe I was even younger. Early high school. She wants to touch me, yo. She wants to look. Was it called just Don't Trust Me? Don't trust a hoe. Dude, that song actually is me. pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Yeah? This song came out in uh, 2008. You know, you know another I was song in sixth is good? Grade. Back, back from the day? Latch. Oh, by Disclosure? That song is really good. Disclosure is really, really good. Those guys are insane producers. You know who sucks? <laughs> Sam Smith. Oh, yeah. You know who else sucks? I don't mean to step on anyone's toes here. Sean Paul. Sean Shut Paul blows. <laughs> I know you're making shit up. No, I love Sean Paul. I'm a big Sean Paul head. I know where that but Dude, there's one at the very beginning of that song, I don't know what he says, but it sounds like he says, Matt Watson's gonna be turning me on. I wish he said it like that in like I a very got white the voice. Right, Matt Watson. Tell me what he's saying to here. To shelter he, you from the storm. Sounds like he's saying shot, sh like naughty, sh farty, shoddy. Listen to this. What? Oh, it's playing on my Bluetooth speaker at home. Hold on. If anyone's <laughs> in my living room right now, they're like, what the fuck? Started playing would, Temperature uh, by Shumpo. If anyone's in your living room, it would be a burglar. Wait. It's coming up. Farty naughty. Yeah. Farty Naughty, naughty shoddy. Farty naughty shoddy. Dude, Sean Paul is so fucking sick. What's he doing these days? Do you know? I don't know. We could probably get him on the what's podcast. His, what's his most recent release? Yeah, let me see if Sean Paul... Sean Paul, if you're out there... Are you, if you're a meghead, Sean Paul, uh, we'd love to have you on the podcast. Reach out. if if Because who doesn't want to be on the super mega cast? Sean Paul Ryan Francis Enriquez OD is a Jamaican... Ryan, he has your name in his name. He has Paul Ryan in his name. Hey, Francis is a family name for me. 
It's my oh. grandma's name. So Sean Paul Ryan Francis. Uh, he's 49. He's from Kingston. <laughs> Most searched thing. Is Sean Paul white? Is Sean Paul white? His grandfather is Jewish. And his mother is English and Chinese Jamaican descent. Okay. So, interesting. Uh, I, I'm trying to see if he still makes music. Yeah, can, dude. Can, can Sean we, Paul, March 11th, 2022. How We Do It, featuring Pia Mia. I, I mean, you could probably just go to Sean Paul's Spotify. I don't know where they are, oh, no, I'm gonna be keeping you on. I got the right temperature to shelter you, you from, from the storm. storm. Oh, no. gonna get right to- One like a Never Shout Never cover of that song. Girl, I got the right tactics to turn you on. Okay. And girl, I Found wanna be them. the papa, you can be the mom. Uh oh. No, a Hobo Johnson Sean Paul cover. That's what I want to hear. Latest release, Scorcha. Hold up, it's loading. Scorcha is an album. As we enter, wine up. Ooh, wine up. Yo, what the hell? Dude. I didn't know that he had a a chart-topping song. That's the name of a song that is... Is this new? His voice is so good, dude. It just, like... It's like a machine gun of, of, of syllables. That's wine up. Do Dude, you want to hear a... Uh... He has a popular song. I didn't realize that's the same name as a song that I'm releasing later this year. And I, now I'm upset. Is it called Dynamite? No. It's a song with Patsu and it's... It's called Bouncing? It's called Cheap Thrills. Cheap Thrills? Or just Cheap Thrill. Wait, is this Cheap Thrills? Yeah, theirs is Cheap Thrills. Mine's Cheap Thrill. Okay, good. They probably sound the exact same. It's only involving... One cheap, one cheap thrill. thrill, yeah. Not a, not a. It's a song he did with Sia, I guess. Not your trainer. Okay. Uh, I was about to. Yeah, when to... you told me you were training with Sia, <laughs> I was like, oh, really? I didn't know that they did a boxing training. I'm watching everyone starting to get ready for Creator Clash too. And honestly, at first I felt a little left out that I'm not doing it, and now I'm just like, thank fucking god, I'm, I'm not doing that again. Well, I think it's because... No gonna, shade on the event. I'm just saying, like, you I... got, you I'm got gl- pretty bad. Yeah. So, I mean, it makes sense. You are going to a neurologist... I am, yeah. ...to see uh, if you have any lasting effects from your concussion. Well, I, I've, I've... That's why I'm wearing these sunglasses, because the... I'm, they, I just went online, the bright lights, you should... It's better not to, because every... So, every single night, my pupils dilate to the size of, like, fucking... Like, it looks like I'm on, like, three tabs of acid. You're going to come in with a cast, and you're going to be like, yeah, checked on the internet. If your arm hurts, odds are it's broken. <sighs> yep. So the best way to mend that would be to cast it up. I'm going to start self So I looked up a DIY really cast on YouTube. <laughs> Someone did that and killed themselves because they used cement and tightened it really hard and basically... Constricted their blood flow? Wouldn't that only, like, need the Well, no, it arm? constricted it enough where all the blood... In here got poisoned. So then when they took the cast off like two months later, it released all the poison and they instantly died. Oh. I saw that on a thousand ways to die. But look at this, dude. This is the other night. Uh and like this is me in my bright living room. That's how big my pupils just Those get. Those are some big time. ass pupils. They just get fucking massive, dude. And you're not doing your usual. Nope, no drugs. Okay. No drugs whatsoever. Sure? Uh no nah, man. Okay. I'm off the crack, man. Uh the crack's but, not what I'm worried about, but okay. Yeah, no, these these are big ass pupils. Plus, crack is Hunter Biden's problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure crack makes your pupils smaller, right? It's a stimulant. I don't know. I haven't done crack this okay. week. Yeah, this week. Hey, man, I'm not smoking crack anymore. Found it, brother. But I'm not smoking crack any less. Yeah, Hunter Biden. Was, uh... oh, what about that? What's going? Have you guys seen this? Have you heard about this? The Hunter Biden smoking crack? It's crazy. Yeah, dude. You know, the conservatives are, are, you know, really getting all these videos out there of Hunter Biden smoking crack and sleeping with hookers. Getting his dick sucked. Dude, honestly, I think it just makes him look like a badass. <laughs> I think it has the opposite effect of what they're going for. What I just are, look at this guy and I'm like, this guy fucking kicks ass, This dude. is the life I want to live. He's smoking crack. Banging hookers left and right. Fucking getting naked with hookers, fondling himself in a sensory he's, deprivation he's tank. doing way more than getting just naked with hookers. Yeah, he's getting some head. Oh, yeah. No, no videos of him having sex? No, I think there are. Oh. He's got a pretty big dick, good. too. He's got a nice penis. I thought that maybe the kids on 4chan would have, like, made it smaller before they released those pictures. That would have been funny. No, the, the people on 4chan just want the truth. That's, yeah. 
on the poll board. That's that's what they seek out, and uh, that's why they did this. But uh, I always look at this, and it's it's always they, it's always someone's iCloud is is what they get into, and I'm that like, was the is iCloud celebrity shit? Either it's really not secure, or well, I don't think Hunter Biden necessarily probably has the best password management. Probably doesn't have two factor on. I mean, it's the same shit that got all those the the fappening. Yeah. Yeah. Back in 20 They got us in that, man. 14, 15, 2013, I think, because 13? I was in high school still. Okay. Trust me, I remember Ryan. I was in high school still. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay. Trust me. You'd you'd remember when the fappening took place. Where <sighs> oh, were yeah. you? I was uh, Where actually, were you with fappening 2.0? I don't remember 2.0, but I remember when the first fappening happened. I was I was on the school bus. Uh, it's like talking about like 9-11 like where were you when the towers fell I was on the school bus and I was on my Android and I went on reddit and I was like Because <gasps> <laughs> it probably got to like dude, I got home and I ran straight to my room slash all or like yeah, I did or some and shit. I was like I gotta go upstairs real quick ran up to my room I didn't jerk off, but I was just like good. I, I gotta see this good no, I mean, those photos were shared non-consensually So exactly. I'd be wrong to jerk off to them. There's there's no reason anyone should have masturbated to those photos. No same with Hunter Biden's videos. If you masturbate to Hunter Biden's penis or smoking crack, you know, you might be cool with it, actually. You can masturbate to the hookers all you want, but if you masturbate to Hunter Biden, specifically his penis, you know, my favorite thing about all those Hunter Biden videos is, like, when you look at him, you see in his face Joe Biden. Like, you could see Joe Biden's eyes. It's young Joe Biden. Yeah, no, you really, like, some angles, it's like, that just looks like Joe Biden. So watching S- Joe Biden's spawn that looks like him smoke crack and argue with a girl over how much crack is on the scale. He's like, 2.07. It's 20.07, but, you know, when you're smoking crack, I don't... The math doesn't... uh, The whole math subject probably doesn't do well when you're on drugs. 20. You know, honestly, I just, like... I think that this does a lot for him PR-wise because he just looks like a fucking badass. It's fucking fantastic for him. He looks cool as hell. We watched a video on YouTube that put dope-ass music behind him. It was like rap music, and it was him fucking smoking crack, flopping his little getting big wiener around. He's getting head, dude. He's fucking, you know? Yeah, you just you don't see his penis. It was all, they zoomed in so you couldn't see it, but, dude, he's laying on the bed shirtless. That girl's putting her feet, like, in his ears, and he's like, oh... He gets in like a, a bubble bath where I'm surprised that his dick just wasn't visible. It is visible. It's in a, that video? Yeah, he gets in a sensory deprivation tank oh, with a white so cloth. So his dick made it into the video. Uh, Well, in that specific shot, I think it's, you know, the water diffusion or whatever the fuck. It's diffraction. Yeah. Can't really see it very well. But I did see his penis, and there's a lot of pictures of it. And uh, I will say, man, he's well endowed, which makes me wonder if old uh, President Joseph Biden is the same way. If he got it from his father or if he got it from his mother. Do you know where if penis size comes from father and mother? That's actually, I'm curious about that. It, well, I'm sure like the, it could come from either or. My mom's right? got a big cock, so it might be where I got it from. Does penis. <sighs> she did. She had to get that shit reduced. Yeah, the thing was hurting her back. Come from Does penis size come from dad or mom? Either, right? Penis just, size is dependent on a combination of genes, specifically the sex chromosomes received from your parents. The sex chromosomes decide one's biological sex and secondary sexual characteristics that appear during puberty, such as facial hair in males. And uh, okay, wait. Here's something about if see they're saying your penis size could be a factor of genes from either parent, yeah. both. Because like it's all decided by either or parent. It's, it's like, but it's penis either... size genetic. Ooh. Is it just like you can carry down the family like trait of a of a big penis or what a small penis? What determines penis size? Is penis size genetic? And how does a person end up with a micro penis? I don't know, Ryan. How? Uh, just dumb luck from my experience. But hey, you get to get to flick it a few times. That's a, that's that, yeah. It's, it's like a, it's a nice like little party stops. trick. I, I can fit it in most beer bottles. If if uh, if I had a micro penis, I would use that as my party if. trick. Come on, man, please. Don't act like we're not. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> okay. Come on, dude. I don't want that out there. Well, if I had a micro penis, I would love to, that'd be my party trick. I'd whip whip it out. I'd ask people first, but I got get you guys. We seen something cool. Whoop. I can be fit like, it. Whoa. I bet you I can fit it in your beer bottle. No. Oh, uh, when they're not looking. Yep. Hey, gotcha. 
The old, the old penis in the beer bottle trick. And he's like, oh, you got me, dude. Oh, yeah, I know. Bet your penis couldn't fit in that beer bottle. He tries. Oh, it can't. I have an average-sized penis. Oh. Fellas, a mother's exposure to chemicals such as phthalates as well as drugs and alcohol can impact the size of the child's penis. Your mom was a heavy drinker during pregnancy, too. Yeah, she was. Heavy smoker, too. And Mostly she, cigars, though. Yeah, which you don't inhale, so that's... Yeah. Well, that, that was the loophole. She's like, I can smoke as long as it's cigars. Uh, but what are what are phthalates? P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S. I'm sure my mom probably did plenty of those. Yeah, so guys, if you have a small penis, you can go ask your mom. The Mom, did you drink when you were pregnant with me? Ooh. Did you consume phthalates? That's how they find they find out. Yeah. They find, find out. out. I, I couldn't ditch the southern accent there. I was talking to Jim about this last night. Sometimes, like, when I'm back home, it'll come out just a little bit. Like, a little twang. When I'm, when I'm talking to, like, my dad or family members, I notice it's a little bit, It's what's it called? It's called a linguistic assimilation. Ross uh, told us about this. Or you're coding, wherever the fuck that term is. I'm white coding you're myself white coding when I go yourself. home. And, yeah. Yeah, dude. I think Clifford the Big Red Dog's a little black coded. All right, we're going to go to ad breaks, guys. Uh, we'll be right back. Thanks. Hey, boys. I'm talking to you right now. That's right. All you men out there, I bet you don't care about skincare. You're like, Dad, I don't, I don't need to worry about that. It's too much effort. There's too many different products. Well, see, that's how I used to feel. But then I realized, you know, the skin's the biggest organ on your body. It's what everyone sees. You want it to look beautiful. You want to look youthful. You want to look radiant. And Curology is here to help you do that because they simplify your skincare routine into a very quick, easy process. So guys, if you want easy skincare that's actually made for your skin, Curology is the way to go. You'll get a custom prescription cream made for you by a dermatology provider for your specific goals. Whether that's tackling acne, clogged pores, skin texture, dark spots, fine lines, or something else. You start by taking a short online skin quiz, and if it's a good fit, they'll ship you your formula right to your door. I use Curology. Uh, we have a bunch of it at the office. I use the facial moisturizer, uh, and it smells so good, and it feels so nice on my skin. I look like I'm 14. Super easy. Quiz is super quick, and uh, I don't have to worry about, like, what products do I buy? They, you know, they take care of it for me. So do what, do what old Matthew Watson, or young Matthew Watson did. Get started with Curology with a free 30-day trial at Curology.com super. Just pay $5 for shipping and handling. That's C-U-R-O-L-O-G-Y dot com slash super to start your free 30-day trial. Cancel any time. Prescription subject to consultation. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. How well would you take care of your car if you had to keep the same one your entire life? That's how our brains work, so why don't we treat them that way? How we care for our minds affects how we experience life, so it's important to invest time and care into keeping them healthy. There are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps, but there's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. When Matt and I read some mean, 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 mean comments, you know what makes us feel better? Talking out our problems with, 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 a, with a therapist online. It makes me feel much better. Me too, buddy. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat online therapy sessions, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash SuperMega. That's BetterHelp.com slash SuperMega. Welcome back, everyone. Hey, guys. Well, how'd you like those ad breaks? I love, they loved them. I know now, they did. Matt, yes, sir. during the break, you told me that I have a good story to tell you. I didn't so say it like that. I'd love to. <laughs> I'd love to hear it. I'd love to. I want to know what this mm, epic is. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think I'll tell you because now you've given it too much hype, and it's not going to live up to the hype. Is it not? No, it's a great story, but it's it's, it's, it's just a <laughs> no, small. No, it's a fucking. It's fantastic. like a smaller one. So if, if it comes in with like an intro, like, now you said you got this great story. Then I'm like, it's about Ben Beal, right? It is about Ben Beal. <laughs> the next Macklemore. No, uh, Ben, Ben always drops these like little bombs on me uh, and everyone else when we're hanging out. They were like, what? Like, I found out he was a leash kid. Oh. He was one of the kids on leashes. Uh, and so, you know, he's a rapper. I found out that uh, his first Instagram account, which he had for like a year or two, and I think his dad had to tell him, uh, was was uh, Ben is a rapper. 
but he spelled rapper wrong. So it said Ben is a raper. And that was his Instagram handle for like a year or two before he realized it was two Ps. How old was he? I old enough, I think. So <laughs> yeah, yeah Ben is a raper. And he said it just looked like penis raper because just Ben like at a first quick glance. So that fucking makes me crack up to think <laughs> ben about it. Ben is a raper. Oh no. Damn, Ben. But it, now it's now it's I am Ben Beal or yeah. something like that. I think so. Well, you know, you had to change that last one, unfortunately. That's what the fucking woke mob does these days, you know? It was just a joke, sweetheart. Jesus. You know, sweetie, you'd be a little more attractive if you smiled more. You know, I think women would look a lot prettier if they smile more. Oh, come on. You know? <laughs> you look like you had a rough day. Come on, pussycat. I did. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you're wearing it on your face, too. All right. My mom says men say that to her still. Well, your mom's just got a downer of a face. Yeah, it's sad. It's like very... Yeah. Contorted and even when she smiles, it's all sagging yeah. down. So I well, get I, I get why people say it to her. I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. I think too. age is beautiful. I think age is uh I, I think it's it's, it's like wine. process, getting 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 gray hairs, getting that peppery beard. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. I'm starting to get my my gray beard now. Your mom's already had hers for about when she start going gray? Thirty. Because that face carpet sure followed. Yeah. I think that was probably 30, 31. Mm. She had me at 32, I think. It tickles the face. It does. Yeah. I remember being a kid and getting those good good night kisses. Speaking of being a kid, I uh, just got all of my childhood tapes from 2007. Uh, I know. You digitized. Had a, you had a multi-part thread on Twitter about it. I know. I was going through the other night and I was having so much fun and just finding good moments clipping out. Yeah, I have a Twitter thread with some good moments, but I have like six, seven hours of footage total. Uh, and then I was like, oh, I might just cut it into a compilation maybe, but... There's some some good there's some golden. I don't there. know if people would want that. I, if people comment that they want that, I guess. Well, I'd I don't know if people it. do want it because I don't know how interested <laughs> well, people. I don't know. No, because I wouldn't give a fuck about someone else's home videos. Yeah, but you're the Matt Watson. That's true. No, it's just like even someone I'm interested in, I don't really care about home videos that much. So I don't know if it's one of those things where it's like it looks like I'm like, oh, everyone else wants to see this for sure, but like no one really cares. There are some funny moments though. I've been roasting Dale since I was uh, just a wee boy. I'm uh, 11 in those videos, and I'm just roasting the shit out of him. Well, I mean, <laughs> I did the same with my uh, stepdad because he, Jim, is a very red man. He's a very red man. Yeah, we'd always sing the uh, "What Makes the Red Man Red" song to him from uh, Peter Pan. Oh, he didn't like that, did he? Mm mm. Why would he not like that, dude? Jim seems like he's got a great sense of humor. He, well, the thing, we, we could never tell if he was embarrassed, honestly, because it, him it, blushing, you you turn red when exactly. you blush. He's red by default, and his nipples are always erect. Yeah, they are. I noticed that They're last time I saw him, I could see him through the shirt. Every picture of him, he's got it fucking poking through. Is that a gene thing? Well, you don't have to worry about it because you're stepdad, so. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay, so, yeah, you don't have to worry about that. You know, uh, I, I wonder if everything's a gene thing, technically, but I, I don't know if, if Levi's, things are hereditary. It's a gene thing. I like that. It's all in the genes. They should hire me at marketing for Levi's, Levi's jeans. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will never believe <laughs> Levi's new catch catchphrase. Like fucking Forbes articles about it, like. Levi's is changing the games with their new catchphrase. Get on mm. Fortune magazine. Yeah. Meet meet the man who revolutionized the gene industry. Ryan well, McGee. I thought it was a lovely story. <laughs> you want to see a picture of Lieutenant Dan? Sure. I love that part of the movie. He shows like the fucking like the guy's laughing. Yeah. He, I, it's it weird that I have like this direct memory. Like I remember my dad explaining that joke to me the first time I watched Forrest Gump all the way through. You didn't get it? Well, I didn't know what Fortune Magazine was. I know, put two and two together. Now you're was, in it, though. I was young as fuck, and he's like, no, that's a magazine for, like, rich people. I'm like, oh. People like me and Ryan. We're on the cover. Uh, go find that one. It's out there, but we don't like to brag, so. Actually, we're on the cover of, uh, I think, two or three issues. Ooh. You know? We're pretty good. I think it's about time for them to come out with Forrest Gump, too. I was talking... To Jim about this earlier this week. They had a whole yep. script written, Gump and Co., and they canned it when 9-11 happened. 
So you guys can legitimately thank Osama bin Laden and his Al Qaeda goonies for ruining Forrest Gump too. You can have my seat. He gives the his <laughs> ticket to the one of the people that hijacks the plane. Oh no, go ahead. <laughs> I'll get the next one. You know, it's weird. I bought I bought four seats. But I, I didn't mean I, to. I, I could wait. You can have one of my tickets too. All four of you guys can take these seats. <laughs> I heard that they did something one day. They don't allow you to bring tools on the airplane, so I managed to sneak this by. It's like a Bowie knife. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, it's just, whenever I think about 9-11. Think about Seth MacFarlane narrowly escaping death on that fateful day. I think about that. Same here, brother. I think about that, and I think about, uh, just, you know, how things could have been different if Mark Wahlberg had been there. <sighs> if he had been there, man, things would have gone down a lot different. <sighs> I'm going to make it back to my family. That's one thing I can promise you. Yeah, the rest of the people weren't, uh, you know, dedicated to... They you weren't know, Mark Wahlberg. They didn't want to live, you know. They they weren't dedicated to to stopping the, the terrorism, you know, the terrorist attack. Mark Wahlberg would have been the only person that dedicated to single-handedly stop the planes from, from crashing. He could have piloted that shit. Yeah. Willpower. He's he's probably played a few flight simulators back in the day. Doesn't even matter. He'll probably sit down and and just be like, oh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, you fucking steer, you oh, pull up. Oh, this makes perfect sense. Doop, 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 doop. Exactly. What, I don't know what lever that is. Oh, they that's uh, they actually took that out in, like, 2003. Mm. I, I, I was pissed when they took that out because I always thought that was, that was a fun feature yeah. of, of the flight. But, you know, yeah, no, uh, I'm sure he would have been able to land the plane. He probably would have killed the terrorists. Then landed the plane himself. He would have landed the plane in the Hudson River. <laughs> in the goddamn Hudson River. He would have done like a loop first. Did you take a look at this? He landed the plane in the Hudson River. You were talking to me about Sully and I got it confused with that Denzel Washington Flight. movie, Flight. And I was like, I'm drunk right now. And you're like, it's the wrong movie. <laughs> I'm drunk right now. I, I haven't seen I've just seen that scene. Oh, I saw part of it. You had four beers. I'm drunk. I'm drunk right now. It's a really good Denzel Washington impression. You ever thought of? <laughs> <laughs> you ever, I don't think he does that in the courtroom. Have you ever thought about being a professional Denzel Washington impersonator? Yeah, there's just one key trait I'm missing. The voice? Swagger. Yeah, oh, swagger. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. Well, no, I think you got some swagger. <laughs> Absolutely. Sorry, Absolutely. made me think of the... Always Sunny? Yeah, that's like... The pilot episode? I think that's made me laugh the hardest out of anything I've ever seen from that show. 100% in the Absolutely. pilot episode. Absolutely. <laughs> he's like, goes up to the guys playing dominoes. And he's just like, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And they just look at him. Oh, so good. So Rum ham! Hey! <laughs> Love it, dude. Uh, Nathan Barnett's on that show. The guy that beat me up. He plays a sex offender. Yes, he does. He does. He plays a sex offender. I mean, I gotta stop crossing my legs on the podcast. I keep looking at the camera and I look like I'm a little crossing doofus. crossing my legs. Yeah, but when I do this, just with the white socks on, I'm like... I'm mainly just shifting around. Just spoiler alert. I still got back pain. Get those suckers off. Get those things off, man. Yeah, how's your epidural? You got epiduralized. I guess it... Do you feel it? Sometimes I feel like it's... it's Better... Call Saul. Yay, tonight. Tonight, baby. Ooh, it comes back. And yes. we haven't had it spoiled for us. Uh, no. So tonight we is, can't spoil it for you because we also don't know. We what haven't happens. seen it yet. But tonight is uh it's the gonna return. Be a good night. It is. Ryan's coming over and we're going to uh watch the first episode of the second half of the final season of Better Call Saul. And then it's gonna be once a week until the final episode on August fifteenth. Every Monday. Every Monday, baby. Leighton asked if he could come watch it with us. Did he? And I was like, Oh, have you seen it? And he's like, No. But I heard it's good, so I'm gonna come watch it. Did and he I really he did, and I, I said I said no. What sense does that make? Well, I said, Leighton, Ryan and I are really, avid fans. We're and we're really weird about you know people talking during things. Did so, you say that? I, I just said Ryan. He's and gonna I listen are, to this part of the podcast. He's gonna come. He's gonna he's he's gonna no no. I I, I I told him. I said, listen, man. Nothing personal, but like no one else is coming over, and we we cannot. This is a this, right, is this is a tradition with you and me. We've been doing this since the apartment. Yeah, season three, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, now we're on season six. You know, so it's 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 basically just uh, 
can't can't have you know people coming over and asking questions especially Talking after about such Seinfeld a, no absolutely not and Seinfeld's a good show I haven't Great seen show. all of it yet Justin's never seen an episode is that funny Justin also doesn't like Galaxy Quest what's Galaxy Quest Tim Allen it's a spoof on um, Star Trek movie Sigourney I've Weaver's in it never seen that Alan Rickman Sam Rockwell I don't think I've ever even heard of this the guy from Monk, Rain Wilson. When did this is come in out? It? The nineties. Is this new? No, it's the nineties. Tim Allen, man, can't get enough of that goofball. But he also doesn't like Austin Powers. Yeah, that's that's why I knew something was off with Justin. He said that uh, he hated Austin Powers. I'm like, okay, all right, Justin. Yeah, but loves Captain Phillips. Hates Austin Powers. Lo- oh, adores Captain Phillips. The person. Oh, yeah. He he doesn't think that Captain Phillips did anything wrong. I just love how... By going against... Protocol. Protocol. Putting everyone, I, I just love how, like, everyone on that ship with him, like, came out and they're like, no, he's not a hero. He's a fucking asshole. <laughs> like, this guy sucks. We weren't even supposed to be in that area. It's his fault. We, we, there were pirates there in the first place. I know. I mean, he's just like, uh, the movie makes him out to be this, like, I mean, he, Tom Hanks played him. So that's a pretty big honor. I just love that, like, in the movie, when they take him onto, like, the, the naval vessel, they, like, bring him, and he's, like, shaking, like, oh. but if you watch the real video, he's just like, thanks, guys. That was fun. Hey, again sometime, huh? Hey, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, you, you guys killed them? Nice. Are they, uh... Is his middle name start with an A? Captain Phillips? Yeah. No. Oh, then his initials would be Cap. No. Well, his first name is not C. Well, no. His first name's by, not Captain. You go by Captain, and then middle name, and then last name. Well, Captain Richard Phillips. <laughs> dude. Wait, it could be crap. Oh, shit, dude. Captain Richard, I what's his, his middle, middle name? name? Come on. No way, dude. Please be like Anthony, or Adams, or Aries, any A names. Any of the A names will do. Artemis. Hey, I'm on his Wikipedia page and it does not have a middle name listed. Arthur. What? His wife's middle name, his wife's name's Andrea Phillips. <gasps> With an A? Yeah. <laughs> What's his full name, dude? <coughs> <coughs> oh, fuck, dude. I got to figure this out, man. Captain Phillips full name maybe he doesn't have a middle name everything just says richard phillips dude dude what? <sighs> oh bro the pirate gets out of prison in 2038 june 20th 2038 we got to go to his release and just have like you know like spray some champagne on him be like hey welcome back buddy yeah i'm not finding it i can't why is it not out there? Where? This is really pissing me off, man. Yeah, this is very unfortunate. The real Captain Phillips. I'm sure we could find it somewhere. <sighs> Captain Phillips, no hero in real life, says ship's crew. Yeah, dude. Sure. Is Captain Phillips real? Sure. Is Captain Phillips still alive? Yeah. Captain Phillips, I'd love to get him on the podcast. <laughs> so how was it? This is pretty fun. Uh, you know, just went down to A deck, got some waters. And we got boarded by four armed pirates. <laughs> so they had, just dogs and movie quotes. They had four arms? And all of a sudden something crashes in the background. What was that? What was that? <laughs> I mean, his nipples get really erect. Got it. I, I, that's he all has I Jim's know. nipples. Yeah, dude, I, I, that, in the last scene in Captain Phillips, when they're checking him out and he's all shaky, like his nipples are hard as fuck. Dude, I would love Tom Hanks to play Jim. Tom Hanks would not do a Jim. great Jim. Jim. Not that Jim, no. Who would play that Jim? Our Jim. Maybe like Michael Sarah. No, Michael Sarah would play Layton. Who would play Jim? Old Jim, maybe uh what's his name? Sam D- Sam Hyde? No. He'd play a good Jim. They share a lot of what's ideologies his... and sh- and stuff. Sam Edwards? No, what's his fucking name? Hold up. Edward Norton can play Jim. Edward Norton? He could play Jim. 
Oh, Tom Cruise plays you, and then I'm played by uh Tom Cruise would be a great Ryan, but who who would play me? I mean, uh what's his face? Uh everyone always compares me to him. He looks goofy. Sam Elliott could be older Jim. The mustache? Okay. Just like I age that. Jim and then make his neck hang a lot. What about uh and then he was in a movie recently. Who's the guy I'm thinking of, dude? Why can't I? He in? You know, you know what? What movie did I watch with S Sam Elliott? I'm going to the neurologist uh, because not only my pupils get big at night, but since the concussion, I have the hardest time just randomly like remembering or, or recalling certain things, and I'll just lose my train of thought halfway through more than I used to. And fucking uh, Steve Buscemi. That's what I'm trying to think of. It's like I couldn't remember his name. It just blanks. My mind just goes. Boop. I'm gonna have to sit there, and I'm like. Ever seen a movie called The Messengers? Nope. Okay. It's a good movie. It has a good scene with uh, Steve Buscemi and uh, Woody Harrelson. What's the movie where he's on the phone and he's like, I'm going to kill your fucking wife and fucking kids. <laughs> I don't know. Have you seen that clip? <laughs> Steve Buscemi on like a payphone. He's like, I'm going to kill your fucking kids. Steve Buscemi, I think, is like, you know how Danny DeVito made his big comeback on a comedy show and now he's like known for that? I think Steve Buscemi would be perfect for a comedy show. We'll do a comedy pilot and get Steve Buscemi as the third person. He could play an older me, honestly. Steve Buscemi and Tom Cruise. You looked, you, you looked like you when he was very young. Well, I already know that when, you know, I'm his age, I'm going to also look and just You kind of look at him, like, look like him when, when he's doing, like, the howdy-do fellow kids. He wears kind of, like, the same stuff you do. Yeah, and we have the same under-eye circles and the same, like, sagging skin. And I, I mean, People do compare me to him a lot. But, you know, some women find him really hot. Yeah. Some women are like, he's, like, really unconventionally hot. So I'm like, hey, okay, thanks. You know? I, I like being compared to the guy that played the scientist on Spy Kids 2, Island of Lost Dreams. It's the best Spy Kids movie. By far. There's never been a better Spy Kids movie made. I like Spy Kids 3D, woman. but... 3D's a classic. I, I, honestly, I think I like though. 2 and 3 more than... Because one's mo mostly for nostalgia. And I know, like, 1 is technically a better movie than 3. But three, I watched so fucking much, like all the time. Yeah, I loved it. Three, yeah. Watching I saw the, it in theaters, watching man. the grandfather like be like, "In this world, I can walk." Jimmy. Oh yeah, and he's like seventy feet tall, he's fucking strong, and can do anything. And then he gets back in his wheelchair at the end. He's like, oh. "But we all learned an important lesson today." They easily could have written it so he bad. like. Dude, they could have easily written it, so he comes back to the world, he's like, I can walk again. They're like, no, put him back in the wheelchair. Uh, just, you know. No, but the whole thing is he comes to terms with it, right? Yeah, but everyone comes in at the end for, like, a big kind of... That was the Avengers moment, like, the end game moment where everyone oh, comes in. Oh, everyone's like, family. Game. Do yeah. they say family? Something. That's from Fast and Furious movies. Maybe they do say... Maybe they say familia. Maybe. And then they all do, like, the awesome pose, and it's like, Spy Kids 3. Well, I'm talking about, like, uh, the scientist comes in at the end to help. Like, a lot of the characters from the past movies come in at the end to help with when the dude's in the big robot, when <laughs> Sylvester Stallone's in the big robot. Fucking the Mike real world. Judge playing the pre uh, president of the OSS. What's, uh, what's his fucking name? Donegan Giggles. Oh, yeah, George Clooney plays the president of the United States. Dude, that cast is just bizarre. I didn't know who he was the first time I, didn't I saw either. Spy Kids, so I was like, that's the, yeah, okay, some guy. I mean, I watched Spy Kids, like, older, and I was like, these people are in it? The fuck? I mean, it's Robert Rodriguez, who is yeah. super, you know, well-connected. Very well-connected. Him and Tarantino uh, did a double feature. They're pretty close. I think he did... No, it was fucking Eli Roth, I think. Eli that Roth directed McGee? one of the... What? Eli Roth McGee? Yeah, I, it was Eli Roth that uh, directed, like, the fake movie in Inglorious Bastards. The one that they're watching. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Because you know how there's a the, yeah. the, the fake or the real movie, but the, the fake movie for the it's a real movie in the movie, but it's not in real life. No. Yeah, they hired me to write the fake movie for the real movie. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I got the directed and everything. <sighs> you saw that they're rebooting. They're they're doing a, like a a reboot of Spy Kids, right? Didn't they already do that? Well, they made oh, it. Oh, it was Spy Kids Four, and it had now Joel McHale and it. Jessica Alba in it. Yeah, they're rebooting it now with uh, like uh, 
Robert Rodriguez is doing it. Uh, and it's whatever happened to Machete in space? Gina Rodriguez and Zachary Levy. Okay. Uh, Oh, no, sorry. That was that's, that's someone from Spy Kids acting mm. in. Here it is. The Spy Kids franchise is getting a reboot. <gasps> as um, a Disney Plus original series? Or as a movie? Uh, Disney Plus original movie. I'm, I'm uh, seeing if anyone's coming back. Alan Cumming? Uh, okay, I don't need the history of Spy Kids, dude. No word yet. On if Carmen or Junie will pop up in the reboot, or if we can expect more high-tech gear like the Machete, Elastic Wonder, and Instant Cement. An agent's is only as good as her gadgets, after all. But in the meantime, please enjoy Alexa Vega's rendition of Isle of Dreams while you wait for your next assignment. <laughs> Dude, I thought that was so sick of the Inner Spike. It's three when she's, like, doing the concert. She's singing the Island of Lost Dreams. Da, na, 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 na. I was just pumped uh, for na. the Island of Lost Dreams that, uh... What's her name? Into the second Emily resort. Osmond was a part of it because she was in Hannah Montana. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, I recognize her from Disney Channel. I had a bit of a crush on her. Yep. Mm -hmm. I I thought, pigtails were flying. Oh, yeah, dude. That was fucking awesome. William Osmond's little sister. Can't believe she landed that role. Hey, uh, we're going to take another ad break. I never made that fucking connection until now. Yeah. Now that you mention it, they look alike and everything, too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We'll be back. <laughs> Unless you're an idiot, no one likes waiting on a paycheck, especially when you've got bills to pay. Good thing there's Chime. Now you can get your paycheck up to two days early with direct deposit. That's up to two more days to save, pay bills, and generally just feel good about your money situation. But Chime is more than just about getting paid early. It's also an award-winning mobile app, checking account, debit card, and optional savings account. I have the Chime app. Uh, I use the debit card. It's fantastic. It's super easy. It's super quick. I can keep track of all my money right there. And with their credit builder, I can increase my credit history with no annual fees or interest. So what are you waiting for? Hopefully not your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get started with Chime today. Applying for a free account takes less than two minutes. Get started at Chime.com super. That's Chime.com super. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank North America. Members FDIC. Early access to direct deposit funds depends on payer. Today's episode is sponsored by PayPal Honey. Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. It supports over 30,000 stores online, ranging from tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. You know, one time I ordered a uh, uh, a sandwich from a f on a food delivery app, and you know, all all, all I have to do is, uh, you know, d I had. D d d uh, that's right. Ryan used honey, and he saved $3 on his sandwich. How does it work? Well, imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the honey button drops down, and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as honey searches for coupons it can find for that site, and blammo. If it finds a coupon, <laughs> you'll watch the prices drop. Woo! Yeah! You can add honey to your iPhone, too. Just enable it on Safari, and you can find savings on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. I'd never recommend something I don't use. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash megacast. That's joinhoney.com slash megacast. Those big wireless providers forget that families come in all shapes and sizes. That's why Mint Mobile decided to shake up the wireless industry with their brand new modern family plan. Each line starts at 15 bucks a month, and you only need two lines to get started. No matter how big or small your family is, you deserve to save on your wireless service. I used to be on a family plan with another provider uh, with my mom, and it was literally over $100 a month. It was ridiculous. Uh, why would I want to keep paying that when I can do the same good service for just 15 bucks a month with Mint Mobile. And that's what I did. I switched. So for anyone who hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile offers wireless for just 15 bucks a month. Mint Mobile gives you the best rate, whether you're buying for one or a family. And at Mint, families start at just two lines. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Plus, Mint Mobile's modern family plan lets you mix and match data plans, so everyone gets the amount of data that's right for them. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your contacts. It's easy peasy. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 smackaroos a month. 
To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, including the Modern Family plan, go to mintmobile.com slash supermega. That's mintmobile.com slash supermega. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash supermega. Yay! Well, there were some technical difficulties. <sighs> yeah, it wouldn't be super mega without some uh, crazy technical difficulties. Uh... Just, I guess at some point, every single camera stopped recording, uh, because, you know, I deleted everything off the memory cards, the 256 gig cards, but, but apparently, if you don't format it, even though there's nothing on it, it still thinks that all that space camera, is, huh? yeah, all that space is taken up still at things, so, it recorded until it was like, wait, that's, that's enough, so, yeah, so, uh, I'm not sure where the conversation cut out, uh, Something but something spy kids. Our lovely editor Luke probably, you know, did a fantastic job stitching it together. Stitching it together. I'm sorry, Luke. I know that's it's gotta be a pain in the rump. Yeah. Well, we you know, we've had to do it a bunch with Game Grumps and Markiplier and you know, it's and a job. Super Mega. Yeah, oh yeah, Super Mega. It's uh there's always that's the thing I've realized is no matter how long we do this. We're always, there's always going to be like those technical difficulties and we're always going to lose footage and... That's just the name of the game, baby. That is, baby. You know, it's like, uh, if you're like a, a craftsman, you know, every now and then you're going to, you're going to, you're going to drop a couple oh, nails. That reminds me of, uh, back when I was, do you remember when I was editing, uh, Deadly Premonition for Game Oh my Drums? God, yes, dude. The, all the audio from the game got cut out and I think... I mean, I, I think I proposed the idea, but they were like, is there any way you could save it? Well, it's because it's because we, think we just had wanted, just started, like, yeah. a week before, so we wanted to look really good. And you were like, oh, I can just add the audio. And they're like, yeah, you should do that. But you had to add every sound effect. Every that gunshot, was footstep, door, like, the car driving shit. I mean, it all probably sounds good. I don't know. It's Deadly they Premonitions. It. It, 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 I think the thing that saves it is that it was Deadly Premonition, yeah. which is a game known for just kind of goofy being off kilter so yeah but yeah, yeah that I, shit was we, we, we recorded zombie sounds oh yeah that's right it was Damn. you me uh chris and aaron i think all recorded yeah. zombie Did sounds a bunch of, i totally forgot about that uh and also uh we totally forgot you guys want to see some ads unless there was already an ad break right before this and if, but if not if not here's the ads but if there were ads matt you look like a I, fucking yep. idiot. And we're back. Yeah, and I look like an idiot if there if there if there were no ads. Yep. I look I look really fucking stupid honestly and I b embarrass us both. So hopefully that's not the case. While we were taking a break and uh, putting the footage <laughs> on the computers uh they released uh President Biden released the uh the first picture from the James Webb Space Telescope. It's really fucking cool. It is really cool. There's this like the one of the first things I notice when I'm zooming I'm like there's this like Pure red galaxy. I'm just like, what's it like in that fucking world? The farther away things are, the more red they are, too. Oh, okay. So it's just a distance thing. It, could, it could be that it's just that far away. Because uh, Cause there were some white vortexes. Some white. What's crazy also is how vortexes. far apart all that shit is. Like, like billions of light years, even though it's all in one picture. If you were like, stretch it out. It's really cool, though. They're releasing the first two, like, official pictures tomorrow. And those are supposed to be crazy good. 4K. Yeah, but Biden's like, oh, I, I want to do it first. So they dropped a picture. And you can see, like, all the light bending around the galaxies and shit. Super cool. He's trying to cut into when it says, like, Biden leaks photos or something like that. So the keywords don't. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So instead of it being about Hunter Biden's Biden penis. Biden photos. He was an hour late. And he was like, I was planning a trip to the Middle East. I'm like, no, he's probably on the phone with Hunter. Like, God damn it. But <laughs> Mr. President. Sleepy Joe. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, but basically, uh, I'm very excited to see what that telescope does. I watched it take off uh, back in December. Did you salute? No, I didn't watch it take off. I set my alarm, but I slept through it. Because I wait. they were supposed to launch it on Halloween. They were supposed to launch it for like years, and it kept getting delayed and pushed, and then they launched it on Christmas. Was it a budget issue? Yeah, I think so. And just, just, because NASA's very underfunded, because everyone's like, what the hell, what good is space? Uh, Space Force. I know. They say, wait, what, what good is space? And they don't give NASA any budget. But I think it's just so cool that, you know, it's like they should give it more of a budget. If we could put like $700 trillion into the military, we put a little more on NASA. And then like the argument, it's like, what is finding out about, what is getting these cool pictures from space do 
Yeah, well, it's not about for us economically. It, yeah, it's the it's economically because it's not just about getting cool pictures. It like it's how we understand physics and the entire universe and science, which you know has a Bitch. lot of. <laughs> hey, Jesse Pinkman. It has a lot of uh, applications. Name the show. Sopranos. It's not Sopranos. Breaking Bad. Yes. Sorry, yep. messed that one up a little bit. Oops. But yeah, it's a. Uh, it's super cool. I I cannot wait to see the rest of the images. What's cool? The James Webb Space Telescope. Space? Space nice. is so beautiful. Cool. So cool. So cool. You know what's crazy is we were going to use the, that song in our space documentary, Markiplier's Space Song, and we ended up not doing it, but in the process of while we were doing it, we got the Gregory Brothers to whitelist our channel to use that song <laughs> yep, so. so now technically our channel is whitelisted to use that song and Officially. we won't get a copyright strike how, yeah how many other channels have that whitelist you know probably very few like markiplier probably has it we might be the only other one that has the official whitelist just us and markiplier gregory brothers markiplier and then us you know maybe v that's pretty special maybe vsauce vsauce mm. has his fucking hands and everything huh yeah man that guy's just fucking he's got his hand in every cookie jar from here to timbuktu Something weird about that guy. Like Brent's long lost little brother. <laughs> he does, man. I love Vsauce. Michael. Vsauce here. Yeah. Michael. No. Vsauce. Michael here. Is it Vsauce Michael here? Or Michael V Vs No. Vsauce Michael here. Yep. Yeah, dude, that guy is such a nerd. It's such a fucking dork. I wouldn't mind slapping him and taking his lunch money. How do you explain that? Sound like Chris Hansen. <laughs> explain that. What do you mean by that? Matt Watson. What do you mean by that? What are you doing? Matt you Watson. A, you sent a picture of your genitals. The way Chris Hansen draws on his, like, words and letters, it's like... <laughs> he always said, I just love the way he's like, you sent a picture of your genitals. Does that long draw. Layton does a really good Chris Hansen impression. He, it's, I think it's one of the, if not the only reason why I wanted to hire him. Yeah, it's the only reason we keep him around, because it makes me laugh. You, you've seen it. It makes me laugh every time he does the impression. N he doesn't do much to make me laugh. But that's a surefire way. That no matter what. He like he just pulls out the Chris Hansen voice and he does like some hypothetical situation where it's like like Tobuscus. And he's like, Well, this is one nugget and a biscuit. And it makes me laugh every fucking time. He can just do a great impression. I can't. But to catch a predator is such a fun show. Fun? Yeah. I mean the guys on it seem like they're having fun. <laughs> Chris you know? Hansen's having a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Well, I watched one where he like looks at the guy where he's like, You know this brings me no pleasure. Oh, you know. And I'm like, oh, yes, show. it does, Chris. He, he comes up with little catchphrases each time. Oh, yeah. How you doing, Tex? Like the cowboy <laughs> yeah. walks in. Dude, that... What was your plan here tonight? You sent a photo of your genitals. I really like... Uh, my favorite thing about To Catch a Predator is the unnecessary, like, police force they use when the person goes outside. Just You're free to go. Free to go. And he's like, okay. Walks outside just like timidly. Get on like, the fucking, fucking ground. ground! Like seven officers. There's one where a guy in a, it's like a neighborhood, and a guy in a ghillie suit jumps out of the bushes and just tackles him. <laughs> like, I'm like, they had to just go get a ghillie suit for this. Well, I mean, what else is the fucking, It's pretty like, deserved, though. Yeah, what else is the police department going to use a ghillie suit for in the middle of, like, Idaho? Hiding you know? bushes from a unsuspecting pedophile. It's really fucking uh, funny because they just, like, they could just walk up and like, put your hands behind your back, but they're like, we really got to go all out. And they, well, I've noticed in more recent for, episodes. It like a they good ending to an episode. Yeah, but in more recent episodes, they haven't been doing that as much. And I think that it's maybe, because they're like, oh, maybe less with the police brutality. What do they do? They go, You're under arrest or do they just cut? I've seen some, I have some where they just arrest them. I like when they're like, what's outside? And he's like, I don't know what's waiting out that door. <laughs> no, I've seen this before. I, I'm, I, I just want to like, I'm ready now. He walks no. out, and he's like, okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, just go right out that door. I mean, he's like, comes out already knowing. He's like, uh. I mean, they send, like, a fucking, like, running back. Boo! They like send, an... like, a full SWAT truck through the fence. <laughs> Run him over with the truck. <laughs> he's, like, going around with the wheels. They peel him off the concrete, <laughs> like, press the barrel of the gun so hard into his temple, it basically just, like, leaves a massive imprint. Get on the fucking ground! Break both his arms. <laughs> Inflate him back up. <laughs> I love they run him over with a SWAT truck, and then on the other side, he's, like, flat, like, cartoon style, like, and then he, uh, With they, tire marks on Yeah, him. and then they have to peel him off, and he goes, whoop, whoop, <laughs> yep. whoop, 
Yeah. Yeah, but they have to blow him back up, and then they arrest him. Yeah, man, that 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 show is fantastic, though. That's that's always a been a been a fun show to watch. A fun show to watch. The what is it called? The rehearsal. Or oh yeah, Nathan Fielder's new show on HBO. That's starting very soon. I still didn't get a clear understanding, like I think fully of like what he was doing until, like I talked about it with you. So basically, he's just. It's all set around one person. He's trying to be- make believe everything around them is happening nat- happening naturally. But it's all planned out. But it's all planned he out. Plans for like every possible scenario and like rebuilds their house and I don't know. It I it looks weird, but you know I trust Nathan Fielder's. Uh, I, I I think that it'll be very funny. It looks like a Nathan for you concept that they're like we can make this into a whole show. Well, anything to get some of him again. I know, man. I've missed him. He produced a, uh, what's that show? Forgot. Concussion, Ooh. man. Fucking, I just can't remember anything, man. Because Eric Andre's last thing was like a movie he did, right? No, they're doing another season of the Eric Andre show. They just announced it. He's like jacked for this one. I know, right? They're bringing the show back. They they were like, this is the last season. That's, and then That's sick. They're bringing it back. They got a, uh, they already said like some of the people that are going to be on it. But again, I can't remember. Oh, also earlier, there's a confusion. Haley Joel Osment for some reason in my head when you said. Well, I don't even know if that got picked up. Because oh, the true. cameras might have shut off. Never mind. Who cares? I told Ryan that Emily Osment was William Osment's little sister. And in my head, for some reason, William Osment and Haley Joel Osment fused. And he's like, no way. I see it now. Yeah. I mean, they do. She looks like she could actually be William Osmond's little sister. They could all be siblings. I think she's actually older than him, though, technically. William Osmond's, what, 19? I thought he told me he was he was 26. I'm pretty sure he's 19. Oh. I don't know why he told me he was 26, though. He looks old. When did he tell you that? He told me when he, when he came by to film for uh, that, like, Halloween thing we did. He would have been 18 then. Yeah, he said he just turned 26. I mean, he looks like it for sure. Asked me if I wanted to go grab some beers. Did you? No, he, he, well, we were on our way to the bar, and he's like, oh, something came up. Could you actually just buy me a few beers from the 7-Eleven while I, he was on a phone call or something, so. Just imagine that William Osmond is secretly (laughs) underage, lying to everyone, and he just wants to score beer so bad. Not even liquor, he just wants beer. And it's like, hey man, I gotta gotta go, dude, but I I lost my ID. Would you mind buying me a beer real quick? (laughs) Give me like a six pack, dude. Thank you so much, man. I, we gotta hang out again soon, man. I promise I'll take you out to the bar. <laughs> Just goes home, drinks like two of the beers, has a crazy fucking night. Is there a bar called the Bar? It's gotta be. I guarantee I in Los Angeles, in there's a bar called the Bar. There's there's one in Portland, definitely called the Bar, the Bar Bar. <laughs> let me uh, let me look at this. You know, I I I love that face, Matt. I mean, your face in general, but that specific. Yep, that right there. It's beautiful. The bar. Um, the bar? I'm not really seeing a place in LA called the bar. There's the bar exam. Any megheads take the bar exam? Yeah. For what? You're wasting your fucking life. Do something fun like me and Ryan, you jackasses. Yeah. What are you doing? Pre- uh, defending people that are uh, accused probably of Probably guilty. You're probably defending murderers. Innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, I don't think so. OJ was proven innocent. And he was. And everyone thought he was guilty. OJ Simpson is innocent. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Just the short clip. OJ Simpson is innocent. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> if anyone... You. you guys can... That was wonderful. You guys can clip clips from this podcast, too, and upload they them already to YouTube. Do. Do they? I'd imagine. Well, not to YouTube. I'm probably, probably. Well, you guys can post them on TikTok or YouTube or it whatever. Was, I was gonna say TikTok, definitely, definitely Twitter, TikTok, probably Instagram and TikTok are probably the two biggest. No, because honestly, when people like repost clips from the podcast with a, with a catchy title or thumbnail or whatever, it, it you know sometimes they they pop off. And honestly, it's free advertising for us. So if you if you want to try to become famous, piggyback off of our content. That's right. You can upload clips from the Super Mega Cast, and then uh, one day we'll change our mind and copyright strike you and yep. uh, take you to court. And since all of your notoriety at that point had been attached to us, and all you're known for is making videos about us, for us, that you really have no other uh, course of income. Well, we never said you can make money off the clips. Let's be, 
set that one straight. All right, that money is me and Ryan's. Yeah, I mean that's going to be a part of the lawsuit we probably bring upon you. It'll it, it'll be like a class action lawsuit against yeah. a lo- lot of people. No, that's the other way around. It's a lot of people against one thing is a class action. They could do a class action lawsuit against us, and use this clip as saying that we said they could do it. But th- this did we is, say they could monetize? But this it? podcast is actually all scripted. This is a this is art. This is art. This is art. It's scripted, and we're we're playing versions of ourselves that are saying ridiculous things that would we'd never actually say or believe. The teleprompters are acting up. I'd have I, I had to ad lib a little this episode. Me too. And uh, I don't know. How do you feel about people monetizing podcast clips they post of us? That's how I feel. I'm just gonna whatever. Mm. Like I like I don't think it's like taking revenue away from us. Yeah. Also, like podcast clips aren't going to make a substantial amount of money. So I don't know. it's more for getting your face out there. We, we've let compilation hey. people monetize and keep the money on their compilations. All in the press past. is good press. All press is good press. Hunter Biden, what's happening right now? That's good press. It is. He's got a big cock, dude. Like, I know that, like, people on the right and conservatives are like, D- look at this shit. But it's like, th- y'all, you can make big fun of Big dick them. does drugs, fucks chicks. Yeah, only thing he's missing is a little rock and roll, you know? Like, was he playing any rock and roll? Probably. I haven't videos? watched all the clips. But here's the thing. They can make fun of him for smoking crack, for, for sleeping with promiscuous women. They cannot make fun of him for having a small penis. No. And you know they wish he had a small penis. Oh, yeah. They're like, God damn it. He's got a big cock. But, hey, I'm not defending Hunter Biden either. I honestly just don't give a fuck. I mean, Donald Trump, how do you, I, what do you think? Do you think big penis, small penis? This, this fully isn't like a politically charged answer. Answer, I genuinely just think based on like his body type and how he looks, no, he doesn't have a big penis. Or it looks small. Compared to the rest of his body. Yes. I, I, I don't... I could see maybe earlier in his life, like when he was uh, very fit, and he was like uh, in the real estate business when he was like 30, 40. I could have seen him maybe slinging some meat, you know? But now you think it's just kind of tapped out? You know, he said he's he's never drank, never done cocaine. But I'm like, dude, you were in the New York real estate industry, like with the mafia, and that's how he was so successful. He learned to stay away from that shit. That's true. Yeah, you're right. That uh, keep your mind clear so you can always make a, uh, those uh, business moves. That's what Chet Hanks said today. He posted a video about God and and staying sober. It's just one part of of understanding God. Well, Chet Hanks is is a fucking loser. So. <laughs> I've signed up for Chet Hanks' uh, self mastery program. Hey, all, he do, all he's done is bully you. Yes, <laughs> that's it. He sent me some very mean messages. <laughs> he just gets mad at you for not sending him money. No, it's it's or signing up for his pro. Or I, well, I signed up. I, I paid for it and I signed up, and then uh, he's just been really brutal to me. And then, well, I haven't uploaded like my progress pics because I haven't done anything. <laughs> and he messaged me he's like, "Upload your fucking pics." <laughs> I thought about maybe just uploading the ones. The uh, I took the initial ones, and I might just upload the same ones again. <laughs> he's a he's a fellow though, man. That Chad Hanks, he's just really aggressive. Like the some of the things he said to me, I I genuinely was like, whoa. I don't know. Like, do you think do you think Tom Hanks has any fault in <laughs> in in that? Oh, I do you don't know. think it's fully up to Chet now? I mean, Chet's I, an it, adult. It, Chet, Chet's a grown man, but, it, but <laughs> I think. But basically, like, look at look at Colin. You know, Colin is Tom's kid as well, but he's like a respected actor and very put together. Yeah, I'm not saying Chet's not put together. He's very he's very ripped. Chet's acted before. Yeah, he actually was just in Atlanta. So and he had like a Trinidad accent. Like, Did he? They, they made him do the fucking yeah. He was in a really good show I watched with Brian Cranston. Where he uh, plays a fentanyl dealer. And oh, he, that was a show. That wasn't a movie. I forget. No, that, that was, was like a Showtime like a limited series. series. Yeah, but uh, honestly, I'm only hurting myself by not following Chet's advice. Uh, He's aggressive about helping you. He wants what's best for you at the end of the day. 
Being sober is just the tip of the iceberg. We have to do more. If you're a man, we have to get fucking jacked. We have to get fucking jacked. Is this jet? You're a man. What happened to you? You know accent? that you want to be fucking jacked. You know you want to walk around with the utmost confidence at all times. That's how we're meant to feel. We're meant to walk around it with the utmost supreme confidence, being comfortable in our skin because we fucking have put in the fucking work. That's right. He seems calm there. If you're, dude, you, as a man, you need to be fucking jacked. Like a gorilla. You need to be all muscle, baby. Honestly, you, I, I think that, you know, we're evolving away from monkeys, but I think we need to be evolving Back away from monkeys and more towards gorillas. Yes. And, and people like Cheddar, you know, leading the, the forefront of that, um, of the next step in uh, humankind's uh, evolution. Guess what? What? Hold up, hold up. It's very exciting, Matt. I know you're going to be dazzled. Did you know that there's only 10 days left until you and I can go see Nope in theaters? Really? Also, I watched, like, the newer trailer for no, it. I, 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 I went okay. to... I, you, you, I purposely you, hid my eyes. But you showed one, me the original trailer. The original trailer, yeah. yes. I heard this one... I won't spoil. ...spoils a lot more. I won't shows spoil it, more. but the movie is completely different concept than what I thought from the other trailer. Uh-oh. It's like a completely different movie. Is it not an alien movie? No, it's an alien movie. Okay, okay. It's just, it's just they didn't, like, the main premise of the movie, they didn't show it in that first trailer. Okay. And now they show it in this one. It's a fun premise. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. It then. looks like a, it looks really fun. Like, it looks like a, like a, a dramedy. Okay. Looks pretty funny. Like, the first one was as pretty long serious, as but... They have flying saucers and, and, and gray aliens. They show those in the trailer. Oh, shit. They don't show the aliens, but they do show the saucers. <sighs> I just fucking love. We gotta make a flying saucer movie, you know? Or we're gonna write a book, I'm sure, with a flying saucer in it. Yeah, maybe the next super mega book has a flying saucer in it. Maybe the first one did, and no one paid attention and didn't notice it mm. because we hid it behind clever writing. <laughs> fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the first the first letters of chapter two, seven, and sixteen. U F O. Mm -hmm. How does it feel that, like, we can write our damn hearts out, but it's wasted on morons that don't even begin to understand the concepts that we transcribe from our fucking brains? I understand how the Buddha felt, you know? I understand how people like Martin Luther King felt. The coffee looks like poop. It's matcha. It's not... That's why it looks like poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Bye. <laughs> Matt and Ryan, that was not funny. But I love Super Mega. <laughs> <laughs>